This model is pretty amazing. Hello my friends, how are you doing? The community is training more and more SDXL models. Today I want to show you one that is called Chuggernaut XL. It also has its own LoRa and its own negative embedding. Let's get started. So first things first, let's look at the Civit AI page here where you can download the model. It has 6.46 gigabytes as a download. Of course, there's some sample images here. As always, I highly advise you to click Click on these images and then look at all the information you find here on the right side, especially the negative prompt, the different settings, especially the sampler that is provided here that gives you some good input on how to use this model to get really good results. When we look at the information below the images, you can see that this model is still in training, but I still think with version two, you can already get some pretty cool results. So here you can see some sample images that I've rendered with Chuggernaut X. L. It is mainly good for portraits, especially when they are close up so that the face is big enough in the image. I've rendered different scenes. They are all in the resolution of 768 by 1344. And as you can see, it has a very nice, very realistic lighting nice texture and details to the different materials. It can also handle other things like, for example, racing cars rather well. Although when we scroll in here a little bit more, you can see that there is a little bit of a grain here in the details of the surface of the car. And also the details are not very clear, but still when you zoom out the image, it looks pretty good. I also like the background with the Alps and again, the really nice colors. This SCXL model can be pretty good for fashion model shots. Again, more the close ups are good here rather than the full body. And this image also was done with the cinematic LoRa, which gives you a more cinematic analog look to these images. Here we have a nice sci fi image of a woman. Now, one thing that really helps here is to put freckles into the image because that gives you a much higher detail to the skin also. Before we go on to automatic 1111. I also want to show you the file for the LoRa. This is for cinematic images. When we click on the images, you can see here they have a very nice filmic look, more of kind of a vintage style also, and can give you some pretty amazing results that look very similar to the cinematic style of Mid Journey. On top of that, there's also a negative embedding for Chuggernaut. Now, I could not test this because for some reason with the new update 1.6 for automatic 11.11. The negative embeddings don't load at the moment. So if you have an older version of automatic 11.11 installed, this should still work pretty fine. Now let's talk about where to download these files. Of course, the Chuggernaut XL model file goes into the automatic 11.11 folder in there into the models folder and in there into the stable diffusion folder where all of your other models are. The LoRa also goes into the models folder, but not into the stable diffusion folder. Instead, of course, into the LoRa folder. And for the embedding, you want to download that into your automatic 1111 folder and in there into the embeddings folder where all of your other embeddings are. Now let's have a look into automatic 1111 and how this model is being used. So of course, up here, you load the model as normal. Juggernaut XL version two, you write your prompt and negative prompt. Again, look at the Civit AI page to see what kind of negative prompt they are using. That can be very helpful. For the sampling method, I'm using DPM plus plus two M Keras, and this seems to be by far the best sampling method for this model. I did test the model in all of the other sampling methods, but as you can see here, some of them have strange fragments here and this kind of grainy texture in the skin and others have complete problems with rendering the image. So the best sampling method seems to be DPM plus plus 2M Keras. Now for the resolution, I found that images that are vertical rather than horizontal give you better results. Also square images give you pretty good results. When you have a wide or horizontal image like this one you see here, you might want to have more of a close up of the person to get better details in the face. But once you do that and also add a little bit of freckles to the skin, you get some really amazing, very good looking results from this model. In the 1.6 version of automatic 1111, I'm 
I'm using the normal SDXL refiner 1.0. I have it set to 0.8 for the switch to the refiner model. You want to set the SDVAE to automatic. If you don't have this setting up here, it is already set to automatic to load for this model. And that's it already for today. Let me know in the comments what your favorite SDXL model is, or if you have any other tricks to get better results with SDXL, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah. <laughs>